writing an extended essay can be an absolute nightmare for some however with a proper structure and format and understanding the assessment criteria this can be made extremely simple in this video i am going to teach you how to write a top extended essay on microeconomics on the topic of market failure in about 10 hours now if you like these kind of videos and you want to know more about ibdp business and economics related topics click on the subscribe button below to stay updated now let's get started the topic i have chosen today is to what extent has the fame policy been effective in reducing the negative externalities associated with automobile consumption in mumbai now before we get started with the structure and what to write let me explain what this topic means the fame policy is known as the faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles in india and this policy is launched to encourage electric and hybrid vehicle consumption in the country now let's start with the introduction the introduction should basically comprise of three important elements the first is the background of the case now in this case it will be explaining the policy what are the incentive schemes what is the amount of subsidy is given and the other components of the policy give the details of the policy second is to identify why this topic is significant at all here we talk about the external costs associated with the consumption of conventional vehicles and how the introduction of the policy has lent itself to the question to what extent has the policy been effective in reducing the negative externalities that are associated with automobile consumption in india now another thing to do is to mention how we are going to go about this research topic meaning you need to talk about what are the areas of study that you're going to explore and a look at to arrive at a conclusion or arrive at the research and lastly you need to talk about why this topic is personally significant to you here you could talk about probably the traffic composition in your daily life and how you personally have switched uh, to buying an electric vehicle and would like to see whether the same uh, whether the fame policy has any impact whatsoever in reducing the pollution problem next let's move on to the research methodology here you will talk about the sources you have used okay citing the advantages and disadvantages you will first start by mentioning the secondary sources such as data reports released by the government uh, subsidies of the government as well as private research reports uh, conducted by independent organizations you will also talk about the primary data you have used probably you could uh, interview a manufacturer or distributor of an electric vehicle and this would give you a much deeper insight into how this industry actually works make sure that your uh, sources are varied you have different kinds of sources and you're citing all your sources with the advantages and the limitations of the same this completes your research methodology and now comes the theoretical hypothesis this basically means that using your knowledge of economics and relevant data coming up to a conclusion to the research question Now the first step would be to start explaining the first concept or theory that is the negative externalities of consumption and how consumption of conventional vehicles lead to market failure. You can draw a diagram which could look like this where you could show the negative externalities that are caused by the consumption of conventional vehicles. Make sure to explain this diagram diagram properly and then talk about the several negative externalities that are associated with consumption of automobiles. to the tune of air pollution traffic congestion oil dependency and noise pollution however make sure that you are mentioning in the essay that you will only focus on the ones that can be corrected by the ev the ones that can be corrected by the ev is the problem of the pollution and oil dependency as india's dependence on oil imports is up to 88% Now conventional vehicles use fossil fuel and hence increase consumption of oil increasing india's trade deficit and this is a this is a very big externality another key point would be to connect what you are writing with your key concepts you can also write uh, that the consumption of conventional vehicles brings up the issue of sustainability and maintaining the economic well being of future generations because they also will rely on these same sources of energy post this you will take another theory you will talk about substitutes how evs are a more eco friendly substitute for the widely used conventional vehicles today 
instead of combusting fossil fuels and run on electricity and now show how closely EVs can actually substitute the conventional vehicles. Now you can also talk about the subsidies that the FAME policy have undertaken known as um, the demand incentives and you can also mention the funds allocated uh, for these incentives and how these subsidies have eventually helped to reduce the price of EVs and hence increase the quantity demanded and the same can be done through a diagram like this using actual data explain the diagram clearly. Next, you could also mention the market-based policies that are used by the government such as conducting information, education and communication programs, uh, actively spreading awareness about EVs among consumers and how that can also work to increase the quantity demanded by consumers. And the last economic theory that you can mention is the determinants of demand for EVs. You can first talk about the price of substitutes and show the price difference between the cost of an EV EV with the fame policy and the cost of a conventional vehicle like this and also mention uh, the price difference. Do mention the difference between the upfront price and the operation cost and do an analysis of the price comparison taking into account both the upfront cost and the operation cost together. The next determinant can be consumer preferences and the trends you can actually point out such as the fear of not having enough charging, infrastructure, fuel prices being extremely high, creating a psychological barrier which further played a part in matching consumer preference towards EE. Uh, the driving range is also another challenge for people to switch towards EVs. Now, however, people are still showing some enthusiasm about switching to EVs that are um, completely sustainable and would have zero emissions. So, analyze all your determinants of demand. And to analyze all these economic theories, it is also important to come up with a conclusion based on these theories alone. We can come up with a conclusion saying that the negative externalities can be reduced and you can draw a diagram to show this to the tune and explain the diagram thoroughly. However, do mention the caveat that because the policy is still new in the EV market or EV market share in the automobile industry is minuscule compared to say the 11 and 12, uh, 24 lakh conventional cars and bikes in Mumbai, the extent of the decrease in externality will be limited. This completes the theoretical analysis. Now you need to do a deeper economic analysis to either support or disprove the conclusion made in your theoretical analysis. Now, since the fame policy is relatively new, it is first important to measure the growth of the EVs to see if the policy has been effective at all. Can you analyze the growth in the EV registrations in Mumbai over the last five financial years and see the percentage growth and the growth in new registration and analyze the situation uh, to see how much impact uh, that has been created? You can also look at the breakdown of the automobile industry in India to understand what percentage of the same has actually been held by EVs. In the next paragraph, talk about pollution as an external cost over time. And you can say that to test the hypothesis, it is also important to measure how pollution, which is the negative externality associated with automobile consumption, has changed in India. You can also do a regression analysis to show the number of vehicles per year and how it is increasing over time and you can also show a market structure where only 1.3% of the automobiles sold, sold are EVs. Post this you can also analyze the pollution trend in uh, Mumbai looking at the CO2, SO2, NO2 levels in the atmosphere on a year on year basis and analyze the same and run a regression analysis to see whether there has actually been an impact uh, with the increase in automobiles and the pollution and has the fame policy been able to help. Through this analysis, you will be able to see a declining trend like this, but you need to also make sure to cite limitations of this, that even though the pollution seems to be declining, it could be the result of some external factors and air pollution can be influenced by a variety of factors beyond conventional vehicle consumption. Post this paragraph, also make sure to answer the research question that since the EV industry is still small, it is impossible to entirely uh, be certain how much of the decrease in pollution can actually be credited to the transition to EVs. Next, you will analyze the oil dependency and consumption as an external cost. Over time, you will test your hypothesis using data about trade deficits and oil imports 
which is available for country and be clear to cite the limitation that since oil dependence and consumption is a crucial externality it is still worth considering this data even though it is not at only the city level you can plot a graph to show the net imports of crude oil and petroleum products over time and analyze the trend be sure to point out that there is a trade deficit and there is an overconsumption of oil the debit is larger than the credit make sure to point out that 47% of the oil consumption is for cars and truck fuel and while there is a 6.43% drop in growth rate of net exports in FY19 uh, the year in which the fame policy was introduced the current ev market is too small to have had any actual impact on it and it would rather be impacted by external factors you can then go on to plot a graph of crude oil dependency over time from this you can clearly see that india's crude oil dependency has changed over the last 4 years and there is a clear upward trend at an increasing rate and hence in conclusion so far there has been little effect of the fame policy on reducing oil dependency and consumption as a negative externality in india however keeping that in mind we still need to understand that evs form a very small share of the automobile automobile industry and do not have that much effect on the overall consumption and hence it cannot affect the oil dependency or reduce it in any substantial way now make note of one thing after all the three paragraphs we cited limitations of the analysis that we have made and by doing this it shows your examiner your critical thinking skills which will help you get a good grade in your exam now go on and go one step further and look at the projections and the long run evaluations for the ev because the short run is quite inconclusive currently it is clear that the fame policy has limited or hardly any impact on reducing pollution and oil dependency which is the negative externality and the main reason has is only because of the low penetration of ev but this doesn't mean that the policy is not effective at all this the fame policy is still ongoing and in the long run uh it can incentivize more ev consumption and encourage investment by third parties in the industry in the form of renewable energy sources uh lithium ion plants uh projection by niti ayog actually predicts uh ev sales to uh comprise of 30% of the automobile industry and you can also plot a sales projection um of of events in the next 10 years and how the penetration would spread out between two wheelers three wheelers four wheelers buses just like this You can also look at analyzing pollution data in the future with a 30% penetration of EVs and what would be the ultimate benefit in the long run just beyond oil dependency and pollution look at points like it could increase the combined market size of power uh, train battery public charges to more than uh, 28 billion in addition it could create 1.2 lakh new jobs in the sector also be sure to point out the negative such as 19% jobs will be lost in the conventional manufacturing industry and an annual value added loss of 28 billion the state and the central governments would also lose tax revenue worth almost 1 lakh crore from reduced oil and diesel sales this finishes your economic analysis and you will now go on to write a good conclusion now please note that no new information should be included in the conclusion Here you will answer the question: To what extent has the fame policy been effective in reducing the negative externalities? And you will answer it by saying that in the short run there has been little impact due to the lack of penetration of EVs in the market. However, substantial benefits will only be seen in the long run, which will have various impacts on various stakeholders in different ways. So have a good summary. After this, you will write an evaluation. talk about the several unresolved questions and further research questions that remain in this case you could talk about how you only considered the policy in mumbai but because the fame policy is a national policy it would be interesting to see how effective it has been in different cities secondly the current investigation clubs together many different types of vehicles like two wheelers three wheelers buses and despite the fact that uh, they move differently the research should be focused differently based on each kind of vehicle now that would also help to gain a better understanding also make sure to mention the limitations in terms of probably your lack of knowledge and skills in conducting the in depth study of pollution figures also mention the limitation of the fact that data for mumbai specifically was really hard to find and though pollution data for mumbai level was available 
data in terms of oil dependency was not available just for Mumbai. Also, in terms of the data was not entirely conclusive for Mumbai in terms of pollution because you only chose one area that is Bandra to look at the pollution level to signify the pollution for the entire city. This completes your body. Make sure to write a good bibliography and a good appendix where you will probably add your primary sources like the interview of the, with a manufacturer if you've undertaken that. I hope this has been helpful and you will have now got a clear picture of how to go about your extended essay on topics like this or similar topics. However, if you still need more advice and mentoring on how to structure your extended essay, how to choose your research topic, how to go about it or if you just feel blank, don't worry. DM me. I promise to make this journey super duper fun. Right now, wishing you all the best. This is Aneri Shah signing off.